Welcome back to another video. Today we got a awesome one. Today we're going over the best offensive budget players you can have right now in Madden 20. Uh, so we're going to go over probably quarterback, receiver, tight end, running back, and maybe some O-line. Mostly the skill positions though. Uh, so first we're going to start with the quarterback. We're going to be giving you a... Um, a mobile option, uh, like kind of a hybrid, and then a pocket passer, depending on what type of offense you like to run. So we're gonna start with the quarterbacks right here. So anything, when I say like a budget, I'm thinking like 40, 30, 40 to 30 to 50 K. Uh, so probably like this 90 to uh, 88, 89 to 90 range. Um, Cause you should be able to get that many coins. They're pretty easy to get. Um, so the first one is gonna be a kind of a hybrid right here. It's gonna be the Sam Darnold theme builder. Uh, 78 speed isn't extremely fast, but you can to probably get six to seven yards if you do need to rush. But those throwing stats, 88 throw power, 90, 93 short, 85 mid, 88 deep with 93 throw on the run. He's not gonna be missing a lot of throws for you, uh, which is especially what you want, especially that short. Uh, 88 throw power is definitely enough with that 78 speed. He's super good and you could probably get him for like probably under 30 uh, for someone who uh, also would want more of like a hybrid Steve Young amazing quarterback probably a little bit better than Sam Darnold he's got this 81 speed which is really good you uh, if you power him up which you could you can power up to like an 80 91 to a 92 93 if you want to go one more step up he would get a escape artist uh, which is really nice 88 throw power 89 short 89 mid 86 deep under 50k super good quarterback but he is left-handed so if you never used a left-handed quarterback it'll take some time to get used to but steve young always a super good card and man and his 90 overall is without a doubt is not an exception to that all right so the next one if you just like to run the ball off your quarterback obviously lamar jackson right here 90 speed 85 throw power 86 short 82 mid 82 deep 88 throw on the run 93 on the pressure uh as i just ended right there um he's definitely going to be a fast quarterback but his throwing he's gonna miss throws every now and again but he has 90 speed he can get out of the pocket he can do a lot of stuff uh, i don't think he can get uh dashing dead or roaming dead out but he does get escape bars uh and he's obviously gonna be really fast and you can keep with your legs a lot with this lamar um another one would be this Randall Cunningham right here, better thrower, 84 speed, 89 throw power. The throw power is extremely nice. Uh, 87 short, 82 mid, and 90 throw deep. 91 throw on the run, 6'4. This card is super, super nice. Again, for around 50K as well. So, yeah, those would be like the cheap uh, budget quarterbacks. You could go Aaron Rodgers, but he doesn't have like the speed uh, I would like. Like, you usually want to get in that 78, but he does have a really good th uh, throwing animation. So, he'd definitely be a good quarterback as well. Um, so yeah, let's go and hop into receivers. All right, now for receivers, it is all about speed when it comes to like these overalls. Uh, so the first one I actually want to go over is an 87, and which can be super cheap. We can find him. Uh, there's gonna be a couple of 86, 87s that I would like to look at. Uh, first one, McCole Harbin right here, 94 speed. Uh, the route running is not that amazing. Catching isn't that good, but 94 speed is going to be super fast, especially if you're going against lower overall teams. No cornerback around the 87 has this amount of speed. So my car Hartman is going to be burning people left and right. Uh, another player that would be really good is this Marquise Brown right here at 95 speed, and you can power him up. Uh, same thing as Hartman, not tall. Doesn't really have good catching or route running, but just that speed, you can burn people with it. You, that's really the only thing you're looking for. Uh, in your receivers when you're using on a budget. So Marquise Brown and um, McCole Hartman are definitely gonna be like top tiers. And then obviously, if I can find him, John Ross has like 94 speed. Uh, again, not very tall, decent doubt running, okay catching, but 94 speed at that price, you can't beat it. But there is one card that everyone should pick up if you're on a budget. Because he is fast, he's tall, he can jump, and he can't really catch super well. But it's, it's Calvin Johnson, 86 overall. He doesn't go, for, I think you can give for cheaper than 40K. This man has 95 speed at 6'5 with 97 jumping. So this dude, if you want a speedy, tall receiver and you don't have a lot of coins, get the 86 Calvin Johnson. His catching, he'll still be able to catch the ball and stuff, but at that speed and jumping, in that height he's gonna be an absolute threat especially uh down the other things you can't power him up and you can't put abilities on him but he's definitely going to be a super like nice budget card so those are like the four like speedy receivers that you can get on a budget uh 
but you obviously need someone who can be your possession guy, like someone you can get the ball to, has good route running, you know can get open. So that's probably going to be, you could either do this 90 Julio Jones, 87 speed, not really what you're looking for, but 90 short run, 89 medium, he's going to get open a lot. So if you want like more of a possession guy, like obviously someone who has speed, but also has good route running and catching, Josh Gordon right here, 90 speed, uh, 86 short, 87 medium, 88 deep, 87 catching, 90 spec, 6'3", so he's a big body. He's got good enough speed where you definitely can get him the ball pretty easily, and he'd be a good like third down possession guy that you need to get the ball to. Uh, he wouldn't be burning people deep, but a good, just get the ball to him, make the catch, uh, get open, super good for that. Like another one that would be really good is this Sammy Watkins, 89 speed, 86 short, 88 medium, 86 deep, 89 catch, 86 catch traffic, 90 spec. Uh, 6'1", so he's tall, big body. He definitely get open with that route running and speed uh, and should be able to get like those out routes and stuff. He'd be extremely good for that. Uh, so you could also maybe go Jerry Rice. I wish he was a little faster. He only has 87 speed, uh, but Jerry Rice cards always play better than their stats. Um, you could also get the Julio, like I mentioned earlier, uh, or Robert Woods. Robert Woods would be a good one. 89 speed, 92 catching, 87 short, 89 mid. 86 deep so what i would recommend is getting like three fast guys and then one of these like more guys that you can get the ball to when you need like on a third down conversion someone who's going to get open almost every single time so it's going to be like the budget receivers let's go ahead and hop into the budget tight ends all right so the first one is going to be this dallas uh go dirt right here he is the eagles uh one of the theme builders two thing See, he's got 84 speed and he's 6'4 with 89 catching 84 catching traffic 89 spec with the 81 run block. So if you're someone who uh, only throws to your tight end kind of like on goal line situations or third down, you just need a little yards, he's gonna be super good at that with that 89 catching. But also if you're someone who runs the ball a lot, 81 run block is super nice. An 84 speed at a 90 overall tight end, who's 6'4", super good. So this is someone who really runs the ball more and doesn't throw it to their tight end a lot. He's gonna be perfect for your scheme. Uh, and you can put him for like 35K, super good running uh, tight end. Another one of those who's like super good run tight, running tight end is also this Max Williams. He's this, this is someone who could be like your second or third who really doesn't go for passes, but is on a lot of stretch formations because 80 speed really isn't high enough to do that. And that route running is really bad, but 83 run block is insane. And he's got 85 catching. So his catching isn't terrible, but only 79 catch in traffic. He is definitely someone who would be like, you run the ball pretty much all the time. Max Williams would be an amazing tight end for you but if you're someone who likes to like throw the ball more to your tight end there are a couple right here one would probably be shannon sharp at 84 speed 87 catching 90 catch in traffic 84 spec 85 short 85 medium so super good um catching stats as well as as well as route running good speed but he's only 62 so he's a little taller so i would actually recommend you go with um this is mark andrews right here uh 6 5 85 speed 88 catching 85 catch and drive 84 spec 83 you're out running 83 short uh as well so like 73 run block isn't terrible any 6 5 so a big body uh, another big body tight end you could go with is this travis kelsey but only with 81 speed i feel like he's just too slow um but this would probably be the best tight end if you're on a budget 90 speed Taysom Hill. 90 speed at a tight end is super good. He's only 6'2", so he's not. this is definitely more of a possessive one, but he's got 89 catching, 88 catching traffic, 82 spec, 83 short route running. So he's definitely going to burn linebackers. So Taysom Hill is another amazing like receiving tight end. So those are probably like the best like budget uh, tight ends. So we got a couple of running ones in Dallas Gober and Max Williams. But if you're somebody who likes to throw to your ball to your tight end a lot more, I recommend Max Andrews, Taysom Hill, or Shannon Sharp. Uh, you could also go with this Ingram if you do have more uh, coins. 88 speed with 86 catching, 80 catch in traffic, 90 spectacular catch, 84 short, 82 medium. He is a little expensive and he's probably gonna be going up soon because he is gonna get a draft combined card. Uh, so he is definitely good, but he's very, he's kind of more on the expensive end of the tight ends than I would like to like promote. So for halfbacks, it's literally all gonna be about speed. So right here, you if you're on a budget, pick this card up. 88 overall Eric Dickerson the man got 95 speed 94 excel 94 agility um he is okay trucking okay break time but doesn't matter with that speed at this price if you're looking for a, a good running back give this Eric Dickerson just because with that agility speed and acceleration you can just swerve and make people miss 
88 Eric Dickerson is a must buy if you're on a budget or even if like you have you're looking for like a, third, a second or third running back you need to get this Eric Dickerson another one would be Matt Prater right here 92 speed 90 acceleration 87 agility but you can see his trucking break tackle is less than the um less than the Marcus or not Marcus the Eric Dickerson uh and his trucking and break and like everything is kind of worse so like the you need to pick up this Eric Dickerson if you're on a, if you're on a budget pick up the Eric Dickerson for sure all right so if you're looking for someone who has like a lot of power behind him uh you could obviously go mark ingram right here 90 trucking 89 break tackle so he's definitely gonna get fall forward yeah i would only give it to him on like a like if you only need a couple of yards and if you also want a receiving back obviously 90 mccaffrey right here uh 80 catching he's got 86 speed 87 acceleration but if we go to the route running right here uh we can get to it you see juke move 89 spin move 87 pretty decent right there nothing too amazing uh but you see right here Medium route running is a 73, short is an 81, so he's definitely going to get open. That's really good route running for a 90 overall halfback. Another one that would be really good is this Ronald Jones, 94 speed, 94 excel, 94 agility. But again, you're seeing he's slower than the Dickerson. His trucking break tackle is less than Dickerson, but he does have a lot better carrying, but his catching is terrible. But this could be another option. You could have him and Dickerson. That was a one-two punch. Be a really nice combo right there. Uh, you could also go 90 mile green, 89 speed, 89 trucking, 88 break tackle, 89 excel. So this would be your really your all-around back if you want someone who can truck as well as speed. I would recommend this 90 Ahmad Green. All right, so we're just gonna go over the line real quick. Really, this the line really doesn't matter at this. You're just gonna look for someone like this. If you run the ball a lot, Anthony Cassandra for sure with that 89 run block. Um, if you pass the ball a lot, if you want a more balanced one, Nate Soldier right here, 6'8", is really good, good strength, 88, 87, that's going to get the job done for sure. Uh, Trent Williams right here, another one that's really balanced, Connor Miller, another one balanced, but if you're someone who passes the ball a lot, and like that's pretty much all you do, go ahead and give this David Bakhtiari, 89, pass block, uh, but he is really bad at run block, so he has a liability on that front. But yeah, for your left tackle, you're just kind of looking for someone who's really balanced, I'd recommend probably uh, Nate Soldier, Trent Williams, Unless you run the ball just a lot, go on cross, another one. All these are kind of the same. Like, honestly, the offensive line, not a lot of difference between them. You see right here, we go into these, like Mike U. Potty. This is another person if you really like, just run the ball, 90 run block. Super good uh, at a 90 overall. But if you're more of a balance, like right here, 88, 88. Like, come on, 88, 88 is better than 90, 81. Uh, Joe Petonio, I think he's another one that's kind of meh. Yo, you know, Joe Petonio, if you like pass the ball, that realize that 92 pass blocks. If you're a passer, Joe Petonio, if you're a runner, Mikey Yopati, if you're more of a balance, go and get the Bruce Matthews. If you could also get like Raymond Foster or anything like that. Really, uh, just these are kind of just ones where you just kind of want to look around. Like this would be a really if you like to pass the ball but run the ball some. Joe Thune would be really good for you. It just all depends on your scheme. That's why I can't really like recommend certain like players for like offensive linemen. Like Ben Jones right here, really good balance, more little heavy on the run right here. Austin Blyneth, don't get him, he's trash. <laughs> um, but the other one that would, would be good is if you can get him for cheap. Ooh, Alex Mack, he's gone up. This is a really good uh, running center, which I think personally recommend, like I would recommend, because a lot of pass rushes come from the edge, not really the center. So you want some, if you do dives, like this Kevin Maui, perfect card, 90 run block, 87 pass. I say he's probably the best like budget center. Uh, and then we go to the right guards real quick. These, again, the offense linemen don't matter too much. Uh, like right here, that's not enough run block. You don't want to pick up him. This is Brandon Scherf. Right here, I think this would be a perfect card right here. Brandon Scherf, 90 run block, 85 pass block. Um, definitely a good right guard because right guards are a little expensive. Uh, Larry Little, if you can afford him, would be a really good right guard as well. Uh, and then for right tackles, um, see one of these theme builders like this 86 85 i feel like you really want to get in the 88s and one thing uh marcus gilbert 88 pass 82 run that runs way too not good enough um cory lucas cory lucas is okay 69 though 69 is a lot um mitchell schwartz he's just gonna be a, a pass blocker orlando bloom okay this Orlando brown not bloom orlando brown absolutely insane 90 pass 86 run of 68 you're 68 with that you're gonna have a lot of strength uh, and this is probably the most balanced, but he's expensive because he does have better cards. Ryan Ramzeski. So those are like pretty much the more budgety linemen. I feel like it depends on what your scheme is for that. Um, so yeah, that was uh, like all the budget players. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. And if you guys want me to do it for the defense, let me know. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one.